Hi everybody and welcome to another update to the Seidel Tab Tool. Seidel didn't make much fuss about it, but uh, at the end of February 2010 they released a new version. I don't know whether you can read this on YouTube or not, but it says version 1.01. So it's very a very slight number ahead of 1.0, um, which means not much has changed. But I want to show you some little changes that have appeared. Now, some of you, I hope so, will use the Seidel Tab tool to tap out sheet music. So you, what you basically do, you enter the notes from the sheet music here, and um, you choose a tap, uh, a hub to enter this for and read the tabs. Now, sooner or later, you will f uh, come across sheet music that was written for transposing instruments, like the saxophone, which is a B flat instrument. So, what's written here? I'm sorry. What's written here is a C is meant to be a B, fl B flat. Um, to make this easier to enter sh notes from sheet music for transposing instruments, we have now in the input hub menu this points B flat to C and E flat to C. So <coughs> if I activate this B flat, it's meant to to enter um, sheet music for B flat instrument, and the tab tool will make from the C a B flat. <coughs> okay, not much about it, but may come handy sometimes. The next thing that is new is that we have added a new hub layout as a built-in hub layout. You know, of course, that with the file and add hub menu, you can add a lot of hub layouts, and um, you can even make your own. And... Um, here for this small menu, I've added the true chromatic, it's number 15, true chromatic layout. Um, this is a layout that gives a fully chromatic harp and lots of choices for playing minor and major, a major, um, <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, chords. Okay, so I think this is interesting enough to make it one of the favorite built-in harp layouts. Don't hesitate to make your own harp layouts and don't hesitate to publish them. I think everyone in the harp community is gaining if lots of people offer their harp layouts for download. Now the next thing that has changed can certainly make these tabs for true chromatic layout. Next thing that has changed is that we are now supporting two more hub fonts. So you know in the file menu there's the point transform for tab font and you can translate your tabs for the Cas harmonica font for the super tab fonts hub, Richter tab, harmonica, uh, chromatic tab and xp40 tab. Now new are the fletch diatonic and the chromatic sans tab. These, the the form of four are free tabs. This fr one is free from Seidel. These are f free from the NHL, I think. And these um, are y you have to buy these fonts if you want to use them. Okay, let's try how it works with the Chromatic Sense font. If I do activate this, um, my tabs get translated to this slightly cryptic. Um, series of numbers, letters, and special characters. And I can now copy this into a word processor. In this case it's the OpenOffice Writer, but it could be any other word processor, including the big one from Micro You Know What. Okay, paste. Um, if I now change this to the Chromatic Sans font, which you have to buy first, it looks like this, like arrows up are below, arrows down are draw, um, solid arrows are no slider, 
with this white thing in here they are use the slider and um, the numbers are big and you can print these in very high quality and I really like the chromatic sense font um, nevertheless you have to buy the font the translation to this cryptic number letters and special character function is as always free within the Seidel tab tool okay um, I hope you enjoy the Seidel tab tool the things I did not talk about is that some minor mistakes, uh, s some minor program bugs have been removed. Like the former version had problems dealing with the 10 overdraw, but I mean, who cares? When have you played it the last time? And those who do play it rarely use tabs, I think. Well, maybe not, maybe they do. I hope you have fun with this, and um, bye bye. <laughs>